Sylvia with Stevens Family Outdoors and uh, Saturday, this past Saturday, I took a little buck for the freezer uh, with my recurve bow, Black Widow, and for the first time I was using uh, the Simmons Landshark. And I've had uh, a couple requests from viewers on uh, YouTube to show how I sharpen my Simmons broadheads. Now I'm sure there are as many different techniques as there are users, but I'm going to show you how I do it to get an adequate uh, sharp edge on these broadheads. And by the way, the shot was about 20 yard shot. I took the bottom of his heart out and the Simmons flew, as I said before, no pun intended, straight as an arrow. Uh, no fish tailing, no porpoising, uh, no diving or, or side winding, but just right straight to where I was aiming and took the bottom of his heart out. So let's get right to this here. I'll show you how I sharpen my Simmons broadheads. Okay, I hope you can see this well enough to, uh, for the following uh, episode here. Uh, what I do first, I've got an arrow shaft here with a, an insert in it. And I put my broadhead on it so that I can safely hold it. Okay, we've got the Simmons here. Now what I do, uh, if it comes from the factory... I'll run a fine file, not like this, but this way, just across it, like this, not this way, but just long ways. Just go across it with, make sure you stay with the bevel, okay? Now this one here, like I told you before, I shot that buck with it. It's still fairly sharp. It doesn't have the the birds or the nicks in that they usually have when they come from the factory. Uh, so what I do with these is I use, this is called a RADA, R-A-D-A, knife sharpener. And I believe Simmons even sells these on their website, so you might want to look that up. And uh, the way you'll want to do this is you'll want to turn this facing you because you'll be coming across this way with it. Now, let me turn this sideways so that you can get the right angle of this here. Okay, I'm going to turn it sideways, and I'm going in between the two wheels, and I like to give them a spin so we get a, a new edge on the wheels. What I'm going to do is that I'm not pulling straight across. I'm going to bevel downward like this and pull across and you can feel it biting you can actually hear it if you listen close it's already got an edge now I'm going to turn it over do the other side steep angle a little pressure you, you don't want to put so much pressure on that you lose control and end up slicing your fingers. Now I'm going to turn it back over to the first side and do four more swipes, a little less pressure this time. Turn it over and do the other side. Okay, now that passes my test on sharpness. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this fine diamond sharpener. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lay the broadhead on my finger like this to support it. And just run, watch your fingers on this hand when you're running this down through Okay, there's 10. Go to this side. There's the 
there's 10. Now I'm going to flip it over and get this side, this edge. You don't have to push real hard with this. This is just taking and putting a real fine edge on the outside. Okay, now we got to do this, this one. Make sure you get all four edges. Okay. Okay, now that is how you sharpen it. Now if that doesn't pass your test, you just do a little bit more on this one. Until it gets to where you about where you want it, and then you take the burr off with your fine diamond. Like I like I said, you, you don't go across this way. You go long ways down. I go long ways like this down this way. That way, you're not gouging into the the sides and making an uneven edge on on your broadhead. So. Down like that. After you do it enough, you'll get a feel for it, and uh, you can resharpen these over and over and over again as long as you, they don't bend by hitting a rock or or something like that. But as I said, this this one here went straight through the buck, through his ribs, through his heart, and out the other side. And you see what it looks like. Real tickled with them. I hope this helped you. This is a JW. And I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Stevens Family Outdoors. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. And give us a thumbs up if you like any of our videos. Also follow us on Facebook at Stevens Family Outdoors. You have a great day. This is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors. God bless.